Welcome to the podcast, Profits Unleashed podcast. I'm your host, Karen Roberts. And today I'm delving into a topic that resonates deeply with me, the transformative power of now, especially when it comes to starting your own podcast. When I launched my podcast network, I already had my podcast going for two years. I thought it was brilliant to be able to provide a platform for other coaches to get their message out to the people who needed to hear it. Over that first year, even though I had many sign up, I felt like I had failed them because many struggled without having a strategy and guidance. When we do something ourselves, and we've done it for a long time, it's easy to forget the struggles that we went through in the beginning. In a way, I was fortunate that when I started my journey, it was with a weekly 60-minute show. There was accountability. I had to provide a 60-minute show every single week to the radio station. And I find it interesting that it's like having a job. When you work for someone, you don't tend to procrastinate or put things off. You have deadlines and you simply do the thing that is expected of you. The difficulty that many have when they become entrepreneurs is that they lose that accountability. And now they are setting their own deadlines. It can be easy to put things off. I think this is part of what happened to some. They put things off, they overthought it, got overwhelmed and talked themselves out of doing it. They either stopped after just a few episodes or some didn't even start at all. I became very disappointed in myself and I really needed to fix this. For me, As I started with a radio show on someone else's station, by the time I launched my podcast using the same content, I was already in the habit of doing it because the more we do the thing, the easier it is, right? Now, in the beginning, it's hard and without direction, without a clear strategy, it's easy to lose focus and especially if you're not seeing an ROI, you can feel deflated unmotivated and feel like it's more of a liability than an asset. The weeks go by so quickly. So launching a weekly podcast, you know, we're all busy with other aspects of the business and well, life itself, but having a podcast is an asset, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. If you're prepared in advance and you have a clear roadmap, it will give you back your time when you set it up with the end in mind. If you're a coach or expert who wants to use it as a way to drive leads and sales into your business. But in a world filled with distractions and uncertainties, the present moment often gets overshadowed by our worries about the past and our concerns about the future. But what if I told you that the key to unlocking your podcasting dreams lies right here, right now? There has never been a better time to start a podcast. With the emergence of AI, anybody can write a social media post, create an image for social media. And I believe that more and more people will crave real and raw conversations on podcasts. As a coach, this gives you the opportunity to showcase what you do, who you help, and demonstrate how you help people. As I've said, many aspiring podcasters fall into the trap of overthinking and procrastination. They wait for the perfect moment to start, endlessly tweaking their concepts or waiting for ideal circumstances. But here's the truth. There is no perfect moment. The only moment we have is now. Think about it. Some of the most successful podcasts didn't start with elaborate setups or flawless plans. They began with a simple idea and a willingness to take action. So instead of waiting for everything to align perfectly, seize the present moment and take that first step towards your podcasting dreams. Now you might be thinking, but what if I'm not ready? Readiness is a state of mind. You don't need 
fancy equipment or years of experience to share your voice with the world. All you need is the courage to embrace the present moment and trust in your unique message. Remember, every journey starts with a single step. So whether you're passionate about storytelling, sharing knowledge, or simply connecting with others, there is no better time than now to launch your podcast and let your voice be heard. Perhaps you're still hesitant, plagued by doubts and fears. What if nobody listens? What if I fail? Let me assure you, failure is not the opposite to success. It's a stepping stone towards it. Embrace the lessons that come within each setback and let them propel you forward on your podcasting journey. I certainly did not have all my ducks in a row when I started. I've learned so much on this journey. It's far from perfect. It will never be perfect, but it really is the most fun way to drive your business. I have met the most amazing people along the way. Some have become good friends and I never would have met them without this podcast. Strangely, most of my listeners are in the US. A lot of my guests are from the US. I love this. I'm fascinated to hear about where they are, how they got there and about all the amazing things that they're doing to help their communities in different ways. You never know who you're going to meet and you never know what opportunities will come your way as it's all about building relationships. Before I launched my podcast network, I had been listening to The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. It's a book that I'd read once about 20 years ago and I bought it again this time on Audible because as a podcaster, I love consuming audio content and to listen to Eckhart with his calming voice, practicing being in the present moment, which for someone like me, I didn't really do that often. You know, I talk a lot. So after practicing being quiet verbally, And mentally, this is the present moment where creativity flourishes and ideas bloom. It's the perfect canvas upon which to paint your podcasting masterpiece. This is when my idea of creating a directory for the public to come and find the right fit for them. This is how it came about. This is how the podcast network came about. So although I felt like I'd failed last year, I dropped the radio station because I was being spread too thin and brought in to just focus on podcasting. I realized that I just needed to do more to help new podcasters get up and running without overthinking and procrastinating and just putting it off. This is why I have my podcast implementation course to take coaches and experts through every single step of the way, even if they don't like tech. We, in fact, set up their podcast channel and website initially, but we also show them how it all works. So we show them round their back office so they understand everything. We map out their first 12 episodes, a combination of solo episodes and guest interviews. We help them create the structure and format of their podcast, helping them get the right equipment for their budget. We go through the recording process, the editing process, creating show notes, their social media strategy and promotion. And it's not just telling them what they need to do. It's a behind the scenes look how we actually do it. So then it's easy for them to continue doing it. So we can now not only provide the platform, but also help them hit the ground running, which will give them confidence and clarity on what needs to be done on a daily basis Once they're in the habit of that, it will give them back their time while scaling their business and most importantly, enjoying the process. Who said it has to be hard or serious even? This is a fun way to drive business. You know, when I started, I was plagued with imposter syndrome. Of course, I doubted my expertise and felt like I wasn't qualified to even interviewing all these experienced coaches and experts. I worried about being perceived as a fraud or not knowledgeable enough to provide value to their audience. 
The truth is these feelings fade the more you do it. 80% of it is simply making a commitment to show up consistently. It doesn't have to be perfect. Do the thing and you'll get the energy to do the thing. I know many fear that the podcast won't be successful, that nobody will listen, or that they'll get negative feedback. This fear of failure can prevent many from even starting the podcast or putting their best effort into it, which is what I found because many of my hosts gave up too soon. My message is keep going. Yes, we're in the top 5% globally, but we've been going three years. This is episode 216. Just keep going. As I've said, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So overcoming these limiting beliefs often involves reframing negative thoughts, building confidence through small wins, seeking support from peers or mentors, and taking consistent action towards launching the podcast despite any fears or doubts. So if you've been sitting on the fence about starting your own podcast, let's take a moment to breathe, to ground ourselves in the now and embark on this exhilarating journey together. You don't have to do it alone. You have a message. You can help people achieve a certain goal. Then it's your moral obligation to get your message out there. If you can make a difference to one person's life, then it's worth it. And with the right strategy in place, being crystal clear on the day-to-day actions that need to be taken to grow your podcast, build your pipeline and have a flood of leads and sales coming into your business stay present. If you'd like to have a podcast strategy call, then go to podcastprofitsunleashed.com forward slash appointment to find out more about how we can help you implement your dream of launching your own podcast. Stay present, savor each moment, and celebrate your progress along the way. The power of now is not just about starting your podcast. It's about embracing the journey, the growth, and the transformation that comes with it. If you've got value from this episode, then please share it and give me feedback. Go to Apple Podcasts and give me a review. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for your time. I will be back next week. Bye for now.